What is going on people and welcome back to the channel. So for the people that have been following the channel, I have been rebuilding my Aston Martin and there's been quite um, a wait on me getting paint for the Aston Martin. I'm not, I'm not doing it myself, but to get booked in with the paint shop at the moment is very, very difficult in my country. So I've been looking at other things to do with the Aston Martin in the meantime. Now, if you're like me, you drive your car, um, well, I try to drive it on a daily basis. I use it as, as not a weekend car, but as a tool to get around. And one thing I've noticed that you'll probably notice as well is the sat nav is absolutely <laughs> Now, of course, the get around for that is I'm going to use my phone to navigate. But the issue is with the Aston Martin Vantage and other Aston Martins in general is there's not very many places for you to put your phone and safely view it without it being, you know, in the centre console or between your legs, which is not always the best idea driving a car like that. And I often use my phone as well. I'm going to use like Waze as a navigation because it gives me speed camera awareness. Um, not that I speed, but it is very easy to get caught out speeding in a car like this. So I like to have the speed camera awareness available at all times. Now, there is an option for this, and I can get the Aston Martin installations kit, but that is quite expensive for what I what I consider to already have on my phone. You know, it's already in my pocket. Um, it looks like a fantastic bit of equipment, and it looks like it fits the vehicle really well, and obviously it looks very factory. Um, it definitely has its place on the market, but I'm not into buying things that are already in my pocket. And that is, in essence, what Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay is. It's just mirroring your phone. So my task today is to think of a solution where I can mount my phone in a manner that looks you know, almost factory or in a very safe manner that means I'm not twisting my eyes off the road so much to uh, to view my phone and ways and speed camera awareness and that sort of stuff. So it's going to be a short video. It's going to be a long video for me because it's going to take a lot of work, but it's going to be a short video for you guys. But I'm going to take you along for the ride and show you my thought process with making the Aston Martin phone holder. It's going to be very specific for the old style Aston Martins. So anything with a waterfall dash, I'm hoping this should work for. But let's see where we get to. So I'm in the Aston now, I've been playing around with a few ideas and I figured out a way that you can shut the nav screen permanently, um, which is going to be very useful because this modification what I'm going to make is going to make the nav screen useless but what I am quite keen to do is not to make it so I can't use it so the option is going to still be there to use the in-car navigation so I don't want to just mount something over the top of it that's going to stick the screen down but you can see where I've been working right now and, and what I've been up to and basically I've been using a small Belkin um, phone clip that mounts onto the vents which you know, it might have been ideal about 10 years ago, but now phones are getting heavier and heavier. Um, it's quite a lot of stress on the vent. And I've noticed that when I when I have the screen down, that it's quite a stable platform. There's probably some rubber mounts that the screen sits on. So you could probably place a quite a decent amount of weight on top of the um, on top of the sat nav screen, which would mean that mounting my phone somewhere around that area or on that screen is, is not that much of an issue. But you can see on the top there, I've got my Road Angel mount, which is usually my speed camera detector, but I'm hoping to get rid of the phone mount, get rid of the Road Angel mount and have one mount that does it all.
So that took way longer than I care to admit. That took me about two or three days of effort to manage to get that thing to fit as well as it does. Obviously the concurve of the waterfall dash, it, that curves in every way you can possibly imagine. So that took quite a lot of prototyping to make sure that fits. And that wasn't the first one that came off the printer. Obviously each time I make a change, I've got to get it off the printer, get it on the car, see if it fits, make adjustments, redesign and reprint. So it, it took me quite a long time. That being said, I'm really happy with the finished product. I'm using a material that is, um, that's really good with heat cycles. It's designed to be in hot conditions and that should heat cycle up to 160 degrees. Um, it's, very, it's a premium material. It's one of the more expensive, in fact, it's the most expensive material um, that I've ever printed with. But I, th I thought it'd, it better be good if it's gonna be in the sunlight, um, which, which that part probably is. One of my critical design features of this was that I, I didn't want to inhibit any functionality of the car. So if, if I were to get a reversing camera fitted later on down the line, I didn't want to stop that from working. Now, um, I've weighed the product. I'll put the pictures up of the weighed product here. Um, it doesn't weigh too much. It, it weighs next to nothing. In fact, the, the magnet weighs more than the actual printed part. But one of my main features were that I just want to make it so everything can be usable and I wanted it to be not visible when it was fully up because I were going to make it so it wrapped around the front of the screen originally so it wasn't um, going to require adhesive um, so it just clipped on but then that design when it was clipped on and the screen was up I could see it and I really didn't want to see it when the screen were up but I, I like the fact that it's hidden unless I need it. When I'm not using my phone the screen's going to be up as it normally would be and when I decide to use my phone I simply press the nav button, close the navigation, it comes down. Now that will stay down until I then press the navigation button again. So even if I turn the car off and on again, that will stay down until I press the navigation button again. So to be honest, I probably might leave it down. I'm not sure if the gears could take um, putting a phone on it and having it go up and down. They can definitely take just the holder, um, but I'm not sure on the phone. I'm not going to try it. I have seen uh, videos of these gears failing before, so I don't want to uh, promote premature failure by putting my phone on it and putting it up and down. Um, but it can definitely take the weight of the uh, of the holder. Like I said, it weighs next to nothing. I am going to be selling these parts. Um, I'm not going to be charging the world. There's going to be no Aston Martin tax on this. You'll be pleased to hear. I do make some parts for the VWC, and they're going to be priced very similar. I think I'm going to sell this part for around thirty pounds. So. You know, you're going to have to buy the magnetic holder yourself. I have ordered some cheap eBay magnetic holders to see if they're any different or any better or any worse. And if they are, I'll put them in the description so you can buy them as well. But I've used the Yosh one in the past and I know it is a quality quality magnetic phone holder, which is why I designed this around it. But all others, all others should fit this design. They're all very similar um, in terms of they just take a small screw to hold it onto the vent mount. If you have enjoyed these videos, then please do subscribe. Um, if you like watching me make stuff for the Aston Martin or like watching me make stuff in general then let me know because I like doing these videos and I don't do enough of them. So if you've got any ideas on stuff that you'd like making for the Aston Martin or anything in general um, to do with automotive that is, I'm not going to be making dildo light switches for your house so just bear that in mind when you're making requests. But yeah, other than that guys, I'll catch you in the next video.